But yeah, I just don't respect it. Like, I told you at like, that time, yeah. So one time I went to the jet petrol station uh, in Edmonton, the one on Bouncers Road. And um, I saw one of my old school friends. And he was like, oh, yeah, you do electrical and that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, how much would you charge to fit a cooker, an electric cooker in, I don't know, some, somewhere, it was in North London, I don't know where it was, but it wasn't Edmund. And I was like, I don't know, probably like 45 pound or something. He's like, all right, cool. What I'll do is, I'll get back to you. What I'll do is I'll tell the person 60 pound, yeah? You charge them 60 pound, but then give me 15. And I'm thinking, what? No, nah, man. No, nah, man, what's the matter with you, man? You're that desperate to make a drink. Like, you want to make a little 15 pound or whatever it was, a 20 pound drink. I can't remember. See, that's how you know. See, when people do things like that, I know that they have an addiction. You have to have an addiction. To be that desperate to make 20 pound, that you're even willing to waste your time making phone calls and delegating and liaising with people over 20 pounds. Come on, man. Man are going jumping over hoops, trying to like do all this craziness. And like, there's people out here, yeah. 200 pound will leave their account, they wouldn't even fucking know. The council started charging me double for council tax because the property was empty. So when I got the property. Obviously, I registered for council tax underneath my name and said, yo, the property is empty because it was. And with an pro empty property, let's say council tax is £100. Yeah? For normal people that occupy the property, yeah? Council tax is £100. If you're a single person, it's half price or something like that. So it's £50. You would think that if a property is empty, you would get the same exemption. You'd get the same discount as a single person because the property is empty. No one's in the property, yeah? They still charge you the exact same amount as if the property was occupied by three, four people. So you don't get the exemption. You don't get the discount, which is 50 pounds. You have to pay the full price, which is 100 pounds, if it's empty for a year. After a year, I don't know about other boroughs, but it's pussy on Northampton borough, yeah? They charge you double, yeah? So I was getting charged, it was more than 200, in fact. 248. I didn't even notice. I didn't notice that I was getting charged double. Yeah? I'm not saying I'm rich, but what I'm saying is when you got money in your account, I'm not saying I'm rich, when you got money in your account, you don't even notice these things. When you're broke, you know exactly how much money you got in your account. Yeah? So if you know how much money you got in your account to the penny, probably because you ain't got much unless you go out of your way to count. Yeah? But ain't, ain't that fucked up? How can they charge you the exact same amount for an empty property, yeah? And then after a year, they start charging you double. But obviously I know why. Because they don't want people to have empty properties. When apparently I saw something on, I think it was on TikTok. There's like 13,000 empty properties in the UK. Now, some of them might have some structural or damp issues in that. But other than that, they should fix up. I mean, uh, and okay, let's say they got structural issues and damp issues. Fix the fucking properties then. 